Hey, yeah, it's me. Sorry for, like, disappearing on you guys. I kind of put in, like, a decent amount of work building up my YouTube channel into this little hole-in-the-wall, weird, bizarre sim racing outlet, and then I just sort of stopped posting videos. And we had a lot of fun together, didn't we? Um, we covered Joseph Lombard's adventures sponsoring Xfinity Series car. We covered the downfall of motorsport games. We helped send a guy to jail. We found penis pictures being taken up by local short track. We talked critically about iRacing a whole bunch. We talked critically about other racing sims a whole bunch. I did some random streams, did some random full-length races, uploaded some hot laps here or there. It was fun. And you're probably wondering, where did I take off to? Um, the answer is pretty simple. Not just lost interest. That's it. I can really only make the same videos criticizing the same simulators for the same things because certain things aren't being fixed for years so many times before I'm just like, this is, this is boring and repetitive. I think that says a lot right there. So, I guess during the back half of this lap, I'll just answer a bunch of questions people have thrown at me over the past few months and just get it all out of the way in one video, which is not the worst idea. To start things off, what am I playing? At least in terms of, like, sim racing? Um, that's a hard question to answer. I love Race Room's new tire update. It's fantastic. Um, I love Automobilista 2's new tire update. It's fantastic. Unfortunately, my criticism of many modern racing sims is still extremely valid. The AI is just not very good. So, I instead spend a lot of my free time playing 5th and 6th gen emulators. Like, serious. Second question. Can I talk about GT Revival? No. You'll see it when it's done. Uh, the Motorsport Games saga that everyone's watched play out in the sim racing industry. Have I been paying attention to that? Yeah, of course I have. I'm a bit disappointed that more noise hasn't been made about some of the stuff I found, but regardless, the end result's the same. Piggybacking on that topic, am I excited that iRacing now has a NASCAR license? Well, yeah, absolutely, because with any boxed product, which they're going to put out in a few years, if I don't like any aspect of the game, like the tire physics, for example, we can just mod it. Like, it's not a big deal. So yeah, I'm buying that day one. Keeping things in the iRacing realm, I guess, I'm fully aware that Jason Jacoby's back on YouTube. You guys don't need to message me about it on, like, every single social media platform, because I got, I got a lot of texts. Obviously, my biggest issue with him was, like, him straight-up stalking people. Um, I don't care what he posts. Like, if he wants to rant about how people are eating their vegetables, that's kind of based and hilarious. It's him just, like, straight-up stalking people that was the problem. And yeah, from what I understand, his charges were dropped. If you dig into it, there's a Fox News investigation on the district attorney in his county, and I guess she's been bungling cases left and right. Welcome to the real world, kids. You know, it matters who you vote for. Sometimes it doesn't go so well, and things like that happen. Second legal topic of this video. Um, as you guys know, about a year ago, I found out there was a dude taking dick pics at my local NASCAR-sanctioned track. Track ownership opted to sue me for defamation instead of taking care of the problem. We ended up obtaining emails where NASCAR took my side and told the track on three separate occasions in the same email to do something about the penis picture guy because that behavior wasn't appropriate. They uh, didn't, and he instead ran the full season. We also obtained emails where track management was smearing me to local businesses and that they shouldn't associate with me because I criticized former NASCAR CEO Brian France after his DUI, like almost every major sports media outlet did. Lastly, let's end this thing on a mildly happy note. Um, there's a girl that's kind of in the picture. It's nice to have something to do on the weekends that doesn't consist of getting wrecked out of races by the AI. Um, so that's nice. Some of you guys that have me on social media can probably find her. Just don't be a creep about it, you know.